All right, everyone, this is an all signs reading. You'll want to pay attention to this intro. You'll learn a little something about why Jupiter is very important, okay? If you, if you don't want to, that's fine. I know I got my fast forwarders here, but this is an all signs reading. It is, uh, it doesn't matter if you're a human being, a raccoon, a chipmunk, a squirrel, doesn't matter what your sign is. I'm just doing energy read here. Um, this is on Jupiter in Aries. It goes into Aries here at my house about 4.30 in the afternoon today. I'm in Pacific Standard Time. You'll have to figure it out where it is for you, what time it is for you. But I like Jupiter in Aries. I like Jupiter in any fire sign. But I'm very excited about Jupiter in Aries because <sighs> Jupiter's energy is like candy. It's the largest planet in our solar system. And it, uh, it's a planet of luck and expansion. It expands everything it touches. And when it's in Aries, and, and with the energies around it, especially considering the Mercury retrograde in Gemini reading I pulled yesterday, uh, which we know is turning someone around, this Jupiter in Aries blending with the energy of Venus already there, uh, which I pulled on, is going to, uh, it's going to cause some action. Well, we see we open with an explosion here. My pre-shuffle shows an Ace of Wands as the base card. And I wasn't surprised to see that fire. Why? Why do, why is, uh, in astrology, you know, part of my role out here is to tell you why the energy affects you. Not just that it is, but why it is. Why does Jupiter love fire so much? Why is it represented in astrology by, by a fire sign, Sagittarius? It's even, they even put it in the right place, okay? Jupiter likes fire because Jupiter started out in its life cycle right next to the Sun. Not where it is now outside the asteroid belt, way out there next to Saturn, past Mars. No, it started out right next to the Sun, closer than Mercury is, right up kissing the side of the Sun. It loves that fire. In fact, when it was there, it was 33% bigger than it is now. Right, it's time for science, right? I like, you know, the astrology is kind of the hocus pocus. And the, and the energy reading is nice, but I, need, I always need science to balance it out. Jupiter likes that fire. It got pulled into where it is now, I mean, drifted out into space, and it got locked into its current position by Saturn. Uh, sort of like a, uh, I don't know, a VW Beetle towing a big yacht sort of a thing. Saturn sort of locked it in place. Saturn's the second largest planet. It's pretty big in its own right, but it's no Jupiter, that's for sure. That being said, Jupiter likes fire. It, it's at home in fire signs, and it does its thing great. And with the new core energy around us right now, which is basically a sunny day, as I've been telling you, as opposed to the last core energy cycle, which was a cloudy day, the sun on a sunny day, you got what? You got fire in the sky, basically. You know, it is. It's, there's, a lot, there's a lot here. This is going to be one hell of a reading. That said, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. I am trying. Jupiter is going to be in Aries here for a short stint, about five and a half months, you know, till around Halloween time or something like that. That being said, I'm trying to narrow this down a little bit into just how it's kind of affecting us as it moves in here. So we're looking at May, early June here for this particular reading. All right, so I, I like to—I don't like to divine out too far. So Jupiter is in a fire sign for a reason, and whether the astrologers knew—I doubt the astrologers who originally put it there knew the science. I doubt that, but the energy backs it up too. As an energy reader, I can tell you the energy off, Ju off Jupiter is fiery. It's fiery energy, and it's sitting in one of the most fiery signs we've got. It's moving into Aries, and I always like it because it all big stuff always happens here. All right, so here we go. Uh, what's, its, what's the effect, I ask the universe, what's the effect on the soulmate cycle of Jupiter and Aries? Mm. And, uh, Jupiter probably wishes it was back, and back next to the sun. There's a lot of, most planets like Jupiter out in the galaxy that, that scientists are finding now are what they call hot Jupiters. They're Jupiter-sized planets or bigger, and they all live basically right next to their star, right next to it. So Jupiter's kind of, a, our, our solar system is kind of a rare thing in, in how it is right now, especially because of Jupiter's placement. That being said, we should be grateful it's there because we're the, the reason it's there, the fact it's there is the only reason we're here. It sucks up most of the junk that would hit us. 
uh, and knock us out. We wouldn't be able to evolve very far. Your person's evolving. I've got an ace of wands here crossed by a hangman. Somebody who was doing nothing now has the bravery to do something. There's a lot of bravery with this card. An ace of wands is a passionate new beginning. It's solid, but it's passionate. And it's somebody who really, they have a new perspective on this, yes, but it really, this, this energy just represents someone who wasn't doing anything, now doing something. And here's, here they are. The page of cups, we know they show up as a page. They're, start, they're starting to understand the value of cups. Someone who only understood the value of um, Pentacles is now understanding the value of cups. And that's kind of Jupiter's action. Jupiter expands. It's a planet of expansion. It expands the mind, too. It's not just luck and things happening and growth in your life. It, 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 it expands the mind. And I see it here because that, that page of cups is crossed by the three of cups. Very powerful card. Almost major arcana for me. Three, very important number in the universe, as I've told you guys a million times. Uh, this is the flow of emotion. This is communication. It's the biggest card in the minor arcana of communication for me. And here's justice right here. Justice is bookending the Ace of Wands and the pre-shuffle. All right, there's that justice card. We keep seeing that. What is that? Well, it's balanced energy. It's somebody getting their shit together. But here in this animal deck, it's the, the whatever was dividing the black cat and the white cat here is going away. All right? Somebody is... Oh, they're almost in limbo in sorts, but they basically, a decision is being forced and they have the bravery to, to do it, to move forward. You know, it, it's one thing to decide to do something, right? We all get that. I'm going to do this today, right? It's another thing to actually have the bravery to do it. You know, there's always a lot of last minute chicken out, chicken and out in life. And there's no reason for that. It's, this is, it's always true that fortune favors the brave, but... With Jupiter and Aries, uh, it, that is definitely true. Fortune favors the brave here. And with Mercury retrograde, by the way, I will tell you, with Mercury retrograde in Gemini, um, take some shots at things. The energy is right right now for success. I mean, you may win, you may lose, you know, but you'll never be here again, as the Eagles once sang, you know. So take some chances. Your person's going to take some chances. I believe that's true. It's very strong in the energy. That's a very strong energy to open with here. And with Justice Book ending it. It's all about someone realizing cups are the way to go. Yeah. Cups are where the power is. And they, have to, they, they do. They seem to, there seems to be an air of communication in the energy. It doesn't surprise me. Lots of big things happen with Jupiter and Aries. I'll tell you what. Let's see where we go. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go. What do we got here? This first card out is before the cut. It's why are we here? This doesn't surprise me. It's the Seven of Swords. We've been seeing it a lot lately. It was the, it was the energy of your connection in, in the Gemini Mercury retrograde reading I did yesterday. It's the Seven of Swords. It's deception. Okay, we got to see what comes after it. But we're here because somebody's been full of shit. Somebody's been chickening out, right? This is my sneaky deaky card. They sneak away. Someone's been chickening out a little bit. Take copping out. A lot of excuses. A lot of nonsense. Let's cut the deck. Let's see where we go. What comes after that? What matters is what comes after that. Who has been? Somebody's been fake. Queen of Wands. Fakey McFakerman. Mm -hmm. Right after that. We're here because somebody's been full of shit. Somebody's been fake. We can't, we can't forget the pre-shuffle. Justice would be a balancing out of this energy. We'll see where the reading goes, but that's why we're here. We're here because of somebody's... We're all in this mess because the one person, the runner, decided that, you know, nope, nope, they got scared. They got scared to be vulnerable. They got scared for a lot of reasons. They got scared to be vulnerable or they got scared of, of you and your success or they felt threatened. I don't know. It could be any number of reasons. Either way... I think somebody's getting real here. Let's shuffle the deck. Give me the uh, soulmate cycle with the effect of Jupiter and Aries universe. Give me a reading. It knows what I mean by that. Let's see where we go here. You ready? Our overall... Yep. Yeah, I told you. Brave. Our overall energy is the King of Swords. And I think this came up... I don't remember. I think it might be the Venus in Aries reading. Uh, where I kept showing you the eyes. This was our overall energy. I kept showing you the steely eyes of this thing. Yep. Here we go again. And somebody here. 
really with Jupiter there, they're going to feel like they can do it. They're going to feel like they can do it. And with Mercury retrograde in Gemini, it's, it's like two big hands turning them right around towards you. All right. They're going to feel like they can do it. Somebody wants their happiness here. This sword, this sword being a rainbow is very important. What's crossing this king of swords? Yeah, see? The lovers. The energy is set. They're going to feel like they can do it. This energy makes you feel like you can do it. This is, I always say, this is the universe setting the energy. The energy is open. The table is set. You're sitting there at the table waiting for them to bring the food. Mm, I think they're going to bring it. I think a lot of them will. All I'm drawn to, just like that other reading, whatever one it was, where this was the overall energy, I think it was Venus and Aries. I could be wrong. Doesn't matter, it'll steal the eyes. Just look at it. Determination to come get that rainbow. And somebody could be cutting something out, too. Somebody who finally, again, I've got an energy here from the pre-shuffle of somebody who finally realizes that cups are important, that they're missing out on something here. And when we get that fear of missing out, combined with bravery, we see some forward movement. We always do. Right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's how your person feels in their emotions. Right here's how they feel about you and the soul. Right here's the hidden energy. The universe wants you to know it's red with the energy of the connection. Right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. All right, nobody can. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top at the end, and you bet your sweet asses there's going to be a link for an extended in the description. This is very important reading. It pairs with yesterday's Mercury retrograde because the two are happening on the same day. Mercury's already retrograde as of 447 this morning in my house. And uh, later today, Jupiter is going to go into Aries and it's going to just fuel that. It's going to join Venus there. And it's, those, the, all of these energies in play are why the weekly reading came out the way it did. All right. And it is, for those of you that don't think the science part of this reading is important, it is important to know that Jupiter thrives in fire. All right? You should understand why things are happening, not just that they are. All right? It's very important. Jupiter starting out, out by the sun is very important information because it likes fire. And, it, and when, when, when a planet likes where it is, like Mercury likes where it is right now, for example, uh, that's when shit happens. That's when people get brave. That's when new opportunities show up. Right here, Energy around the connection. What is it? Let's get going. Nine of Wands. It's a persistent energy. It's, an, it's, a, it's a push. It's a push for this king to do something. Right? The energy of the connection right now is, is a stalemate of, of sorts. Alright? Everybody is where they are. I said, it's, it's, I said rewind. There's, there's a bit of a limbo energy here. But this is a push forward. Our overall energy, we can't forget this and we can't forget the pre-shuffle. We can't forget why we're here with the cut positions. Is this King of Swords. The King of Swords I like. Takes action. Steely eyes. Steely eyes. All right. How do they feel in their emotions? This is good. We're going to need to clarify that. I think we'll see some forward movement. Uh, how do they feel in their emotions? Look at that. Knight of, uh, Knight of Pentacles here. Right. King of Pentacles. The eight point buck with rainbow antlers. Um, confident. It's an energy of confidence. Your, your person, your person is stable, like a stable, em the uh, stable emperor that we've been pulling, the balanced emperor. Remember, we had justice, balanced energy, bookending the uh, Ace of Wands in our pre-shuffle. That's balanced. It's a very. They know what they want to do. Your person is stable in their emotions right now. They know what they want to do. Also, there's an energy here where they know you're irreplaceable. You can't find a rainbow antlered buck anywhere. All right. How do they feel about you in the soul? What's bookending this nine of wands here? Temperance. That's the card you want in the soul. It is. It backs up the, the stable energy that's here. They're balanced. They know what they want to do. I believe they're going to do it. Again, it backs up everything I've said. It's the card of the angel. It's all, there's no devil energy, there's no fear here, there's no whispering in the ear, no, don't do it, run away. They're not going anywhere. The Nine of Wands tells me that. Neither one of you have ever put this down. They haven't either. Right here. We got a nice, stable energy here. It's stable. Your, and the energy of your connection is persistent. This person, there's an energy here where this person can't shake it, no matter what they do. That's cool. Hopefully most of you have taken my advice and you're just leaving the door open for them and you're not waiting, waiting by the phone, so to speak. But this is nice. 
It's nice energy there. It also leads to communication usually when, when, when the angel falls here. That's balanced energy. We got balance everywhere. We had it with justice up in the pre-shuffle. We have it here. This More and more. It backs up what I said about the confidence being there. Not only is the energy to do it there with Mercury retrograde turning them around, heading them back your way, pushing them back your way, but they feel like they can do it. I feel this energy here. They feel like they can do anything. The King of Pentacles feels like they can do anything. Right? They got everything. They got everything they need. It's a very stable energy. What's the universe want to tell us? It's red with the Nine of Wands. Three swords. Yeah, that's one of the cards that brings people in. And these it ends the separation phase. In fact, it's the most powerful one in my experience. There's a lot of pain here in this animal deck. It's not fucking around. It's not even a heart anymore. It's red with this here. There's a lot of pain here. Somebody here is, they can't let this go. They have to do something is what the universe is saying. It's basically saying that. Um, it's also, it could be saying this person's a little bit stubborn. Okay. That well, might be. It's red with the nine of wands. We'll see. This is one of those readings that's going to need some some clarifiers for sure. But this is a good sign for what this card is. What's the what's the potential final outcome here? The wheel of fortune. Yeah, everything turning. This is this is red with the king of pentacles. It is everything's turning. But it's also red with this. It's feedbacking off of this. So these three cards here are red together, and it really is. Uh, 180 degrees. Someone's turning right around. They, they they can't put this down. They feel like they can do it in the in the emotions and in the soul. This, if these two were were reversed, I'd be less enthusiastic. But they're not reversed. This is exactly where this card belongs in the emotions, and this is exactly what you want to see in the soul position, right here. Uh, how they feel as far as how they feel about you in the soul. Uh, you're, you're you're the angel. You. I don't know, top of the pops. I don't know what else to tell you. But they feel like they can do it. And again, we have on this card, I should point out, we have a lot of fire here. We've got water dripping in it, right? We got water dripping off the bird here into the fire. We're dealing with Jupiter. We're talking about Jupiter and Aries. That's, they feel like they can do it. They feel like they can make this happen. Let's see where we go. Let's, um, whoops, I took a card. Let's uh, clarify. We're going to use the witches. They seem to want to talk. Why is the Nine of Wands here? This is nice. This backs up the pre-shuffle 100%. Now, what's going to be interesting here... Did that... Fl oh, okay. Um, what's going to be interesting here is uh, the why are we here, the cut positions. Because we had two phony cards. We had Deception, you know, that need to sneak away, and we had Fakey McFakerman. I think they're turning around, and here's proof of it. The final outcome is a complete turnaround. Somebody here who wasn't, your person's never stable. They've been a little bit lately, but now they're stable. Now all of a sudden, they see your value. They can't shake you. There's, it's green lights all the way around. In fact, this is a green light. It is. When, when the pain gets enough, when it becomes too much, right? It's red with the nine of wands. When it becomes too much, the wounded warrior, you got to do something about it. This person knows that they're not just shaking you from their from their soul, from their even from their mind. There's there's again steely-eyed determination here. I, I don't remember my readings. You know, I washed them, so I don't know if this was the overall energy of the Venus and Aries. It was the overall energy of something. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me if this reading is similar to the Venus and Aries because Jupiter and Venus are going to be working together here big time. And I just feel like I can reach out to you when I have this energy here. I feel like I could do anything. I go after shit. I don't think I can get all of that. This energy is also going to be affecting you as well. So again, that's why I say go for that job you don't think you can get. Go for that person you don't think you can get. Knock yourself out. It's good energy. It's nice. This, this whole, the next couple of weeks, all the way leading up to the eclipse, it's nice energy. Why is the Nine of Wands here? And yeah, I'm shuffling. I'm shuffling. I'm just... Nine of Wands. Look at that. We're about to break. It's the Page of Wands crossing the Nine of Wands. Yep. Uh, somebody, yeah, somebody's nervous. There's a nervous tension here in the energy of the connection. There's no doubt about it. But somebody wants to straighten this out. Again, because of all this. Because of whatever the Three of Swords represents. Whatever pain is here. Whatever. There's a disappointment attached to this card, too. Because you're irreplaceable. 
You know, and they know it. Emotions and soul. All right. This this is always a card of someone who wants to talk. It's always communication. Communication's going to happen here for a good number of you anyway. What's on top? Eight, what did I just say? I didn't, didn't I just get saying communicate? Let, let's slow motion that. Communication's going to happen here. And there's the Eight of Wands. That's Steve's SLT slow motion. Eight of Wands. Yeah. It's going to break. It, it, they can't keep this up. The wall has to come down. It is coming down. This is fast forward movement. I think they just do it. They feel like they can. All the way around, they feel like they can. The final outcome is communication. It's Wheel of Fortune. It's the sun, Chatty Cathy, in front of the moon. Silent Bob, there's a little bird here. He's perched. It's communication. It's because of this. This is a total turnaround for your person. Why is the Eight of Wands here? A high priestess. Because somebody listening to their intuition. That doesn't surprise me with Jupiter there. It doesn't surprise me. We're pulling on Jupiter and Aries. Man. As soon as you get the urge to do something, you just feel like you can do it. I'm just going to make it happen. That's it. Somebody listening to their intuition. That's why the Eight of Wands is here. All right? That, that's, you know, end of story. I've got, I've got communication crossing this. I've got, I've got the Eight of Wands, and I've got the High Priestess here. All right? Somebody here is listening to their intuition. It's coming up from the depths. The Eight of Wands sort of fuels it up to the brain. We've got the... Uh, uh, three of Swords here. I'm very interested to pull on that. This is red with all of these, so it's very interesting. This person, they were, they're really, I mean, I'm going to say it, they're really into you. There's a lot of pain here. Equal and opposite reaction. This tells me how much love is here. Right? The amount of pain that's attached to that in an equal and opposite reaction is the amount of love that's here. And there's a lot. It's heavy. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why? 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 Oh my God. I just picked this up. We were just talking about it saying I can't wait to clarify it and it comes out crossing that three of swords. Why is all of a sudden somebody got the balls to do this? Why all of a sudden is somebody in their, in their feels and feeling stable and feeling like they can do it? Because of the three of swords. Because, because of the pain. I, I, that's all I can say. It's a general reading. I, I don't know how I can pinpoint it for you. There's a lot of pain here, but there's a lot of love. Somebody needs to fix this. Somebody needs, and they feel like they can do it. They know your value. They know you're irreplaceable, and that makes them feel worse. That's the affecting energy of this. It's why they're getting their shit together. Part of the reason why is that Jupiter energy, I believe, with Venus and Aries too, but in the 3D, which is what this card is, they're, get, they're pulling it together. What's on top? Seven of Pentacles. Why is it, this? Is why is the uh, King of Pentacles here? Okay, this is the card of why it's here. Uh, it, because they've been well, it's crossed by pain. Obviously, they've been thinking back of what happened here and what they've let go. They let go of an eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. They obviously they've been taking stock, doing some thinking. Also, this is a timing issue. The timing is right. The universe is telling me it is in part because of the astrology pulling on the energy. It is because of Jupiter and Aries, which is specifically we're pulling on right now. The timing is right. All of the energies are lined up for, for this person who would normally run, would normally be fakey McFakerman, to, to wake the fuck up and come in with steely-eyed determination with some communication. I see it here in the final outcome, and it's right here. But on the surface energy, yeah, they've been taking stock, and this is what they're realizing. It's also the message from the universe. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Whoa. This is what they've been looking at. Now, this is cool. It's the devil. Oh, the devil is right next to the angel. That t the angel energy cancels out the devil energy. Devil energy is static energy. It's like static, like when you rub your feet on the carpet and zap your friend because you think it's funny. It's just static electricity, and it builds up. It builds up over time. You know, if you if you swipe your feet enough on that carpet and keep doing it and doing it and doing it, you can give your friend a heart attack. If you build up enough charge on you, if it's the, if the weather's just right, the humidity's just right to control that static energy, you can. It doesn't take much to stop a human heart. Actually, it's quite easy ele with with electrical energy. Uh, it's a little difficult with static, but it can be done. But anyway. My point is, there's a lot of static energy around this person. This devil energy is like a goo that coats it and cancels it out. Right here. 
It's that's what they've been looking at. They've been dealing with this, and it's because and as they do, the devil energy goes down, the angel energy comes up. That's this person really, really, really has done some work here. They've been looking at some things. Why are they the way they are? It's illuminated this devil here that's been hidden. This what they've been looking at is this light. Some they let some light in the room so they could see some of the toxin and some of the bullshit around them. And it's caused them a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain here. I've got it twice. I've got it in the emotions. And I've got it as the baseline message from the universe. And it really wants to tell us something there. We'll find out. Right now, let's get into their soul. Temperance. Tell me about temperance here in the soul. This angel energy. Obviously, and this makes sense. And I'll tell you why uh, from a psychological standpoint. Right? If we look at... Remember I said we're here because of the Seven of Swords, the card before the cut, all that deception, right? This person lying to themselves and running away. It was followed by Fakie McFakerman, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of the cover story. Oh, I'm great. Everything's good. Whatever. Right? Okay. When we take stock in things, right? If we, if we just blow them off, if we don't really look at things, we think back, oh, I can't believe I did that. And then we just forget it and don't dig deeper, acknowledge it and learn from it. We, we don't feel any pain from it because we're ignoring it. The fact that the devil is here, that that's what they were looking at, and the fact that the Three of Swords is crossing here tells me that they did look at this that because they saw the pain that they caused or the pain that caused them to behave the way they did, or both. Okay, So they did actually light this devil up and take a good look at it. Further evidence of that is the fact that the next card out is the angel. And that's in the soul. It's, they've cleared out a lot of the toxin. And, and even if it's temporary energy because of Jupiter and Aries, for example, that's fine. We'll take what we can get. We'll take what we can get from this person. I think that the nervousness of talking to you will go away, will dissipate once they actually do it. You know, It's a bit like if you're nervous to ride a roller coaster. Well, most of the time... Yeah, okay, fine, you're nervous, but once you get up there and it's all done and everything like that, you know, usually you're like, okay, that wasn't so bad, you know, that kind of thing. It's like people that are nervous about getting shots, right? You get, once, once, once you get it, you realize, oh, it wasn't that bad. You built it up in your head to be some kind of sword going through your arm, when in reality it wasn't. It was just a little thing, barely felt it, you know. So why is temperance here? Well, I know why it's here. I just explained it to you. But let's find out more about it. How about that? Yeah, I've been shuffling. Oh, shit. Can you believe this reading? Three of swords crossing here. Three of swords message from the universe. We move over a notch and we have the wheel of fortune here and the wheel of fortune crossing temperance. That's another divinely guided reading. I, yesterday's Gemini retrograde Mercury reading blew my goddamn mind uh, at the cards that were coming and just flipping through. Um, yeah, this is a total, this is a 180, 180 degree turn with this, in this person's soul. They've looked at a lot of this toxin. They've been thinking a lot about you. I bet you've been picking up on that energy. So they, all the thinking and feeling is done. Pretty much we could say, since we're talking about Jupiter here, when Jupiter was in, um, Pisces, right? It, it, it's, it's a bit melancholy when Jupiter is in a water sign. It's a little bit melancholy. Well, think about it. I just got done telling you at the beginning of this video, Jupiter loves fire, right? It started out right next to the sun, closer than Mercury is. I mean, it was kissing the sun when it started out. And it, it loves that fire. But fire doesn't like water too much, does it? <laughs> you know, too much water and it puts the fire out. It dampens it at the very least. That being said, it, there was a, a bit of melancholy for this person when, when Venus was in Pisces. And they really start, or when, excuse me, well, yes, when Venus was in Pisces, but when Jupiter was in Pisces too, there was a bit of melancholy, a lot of it. They were forced to look at all this stuff. You've been picking up on all that energy, I'm sure. Now with it in Aries, it's time to put things into motion. Just like what I told you when Venus moved from Pisces to Aries. I said they felt, their feels came up when Venus was in Pisces. Venus moves to Aries, it's time to put it in motion. There's a lot of things that are helping to push that, to make them do it, you know? The universe is throwing some, some knockout punches here. One, two punches, you know? Hit, don't just hit them once, hit them again. If Venus and Aries wasn't enough to push them past their fear, how about Jupiter and Aries? Pam, you know, knock them down to the mat. 
Looks like they've done that. We've cleared out all the shit out of the soul. We've, we've th thrown out the squatters, cleared out the garbage. Now we're ready to re-rent the house, right? Or put it on the market. It's basically, it's a good analogy for what's there. What's on top? Temperance on top of temperance. I did not know that was there. My eyes are wide open right now. Wider than this owl. And I got big eyes. Wider than that owl. My eyes are just unbelievable. That is unreal. I had no idea what card was going to come out there. I'm not looking at these. I like to be surprised. I like to get verification on my energy reads. All right? Uh, there's nothing else I can say. It's, it's I, everything I just told you. The squatters are gone. The house is cleared out. The soul is ready to rent or put on the market. They're ready to go. They're, they're, it's, it's right there. They've looked at this. They have looked at this toxic energy. They have. I hope my Leos are paying attention. I always like to single out a sign sometimes in these. You're all here. It's an all signs reading. But, but of all the signs here in the soulmate cycle, the Leo, Leo's person has been sitting in a lot of this fucking toxin. It's major. This is good news for you. All right? It's good news. It's good news for all of you. Now, on varying levels, your person was in toxin. It was toxin that made them blow you off, made them run from something that they felt on such a high level. Why is temperance here? fool. Look at that. It's making them jump. I said they're ready. They're ready to take a leap of faith. It's this angel energy. We only take leaps of faith. Emphasis on the word faith. Where do we, you know, where do we hear faith all the time about? Why do we hear it about God? We hear it about the Bible, for example. And I'm not getting, I don't want to offend anybody. I'm not getting religious here. But I'm saying faith is, is about that. Faith is a belief in something, right, that you have no evidence of whether it's there or not or happened or not. We only get faith from angel energy. The devil energy does not give us faith. Okay, devil energy generates fear and doubt and things like that. We only get faith from angel energy. I've got double angel energy and a fucking wheel of fortune here. This person, this, is, this, this tells me, this wheel tells me there used to be devil energy here in the soul. But they looked at it. And now it's, they've dealt with it. They've, they've shown a light on it. And they've realized that they can take a leap of faith here. It's worth a shot. That's the energy I get here. On this top row, if I were to sum it up as to whether or not they're coming towards you, their attitude is it's worth a shot. I don't, you know, again, it, 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 our song for this reading is the Eagles take it easy. And the one line from that song, it was written by Jackson Brown, but one line from that song, we may win, we may lose, but we will never be here again. So open up, I'm climbing in and take it easy. I mean, it, it's, that's the attitude that's here. That's this top row. And that's what Jupiter and Aries does. You go for crazy things, you know. Okay, I want to know. The universe wants to talk about this Three of Swords. It's the card, the affecting energy of their whole emotions. And yes, if we take stock, if we look back, and we seven of swords, the reason we're here, right? Or, or fakey McFakerman from the cut. If we blow that off, then we don't have any three swords because we've ignored it. We're here. But the seven of swords came up of why we're here. It's like I told you, this person's getting past this. They have to. We had justice in the pre-shuffle. And they are. They looked at They actually looked at this. I got two angels in the soul and a fool. Someone taking a leap of faith. This is a whole new person with a wheel of fortune crossing it. Okay, this is, they're coming at you with a whole new energy here. All right? I don't get a lot of hope from the energy, but I do get some faith. I do get faith in themselves for once, right? That they want to right or wrong. Because part of this Three of Swords is attached to you. You're hurt too. I'm not just attributing it. It showed up in their emotions. Yeah, they're hurt. But they know they hurt you. And they hurt you because of they weren't looking at this devil. There was no light coming in for them to see it. I just want you to understand. I harp on it because I want you to understand what's happening. Like I said at the beginning of this video, part of my role here is not just to tell you what's going to happen, but tell you why it's happening. I'm one of the few people on the planet who can do that, so I might as well tell you why things are happening. And they have shown a light on that devil, and we see it here. This is the most amazing thing. I'm going to take a little screen grab for myself of that because that's amazing. That is, if I were to say, if I were to set up the perfect soul energy reading, it would be temperance on top of temperance and a fool. That would be pretty much, 
spot on because I've got faith in here. The only thing missing, the only thing that would be ideal would be a star as the affecting energy. But I understand why it gave me the Wheel of Fortune. Because it, it wanted me to look back here at the devil and realize that I was right. You know, my readings cross-check my energy reads. So, you know, I don't need the cards, but, I, but they're nice pretty pictures for you. There's a lot of this. This is a strong chance of someone coming back, especially with that Mercury retrograde in Gemini. If you missed that reading, definitely check that out. All right, because that's what Mercury retrograde in Gemini does. It brings people back and things. Um, Three of Swords. What are you trying to tell me here? Okay, what are you trying to tell me? Oh, I get it. Eight Swords. Yep, I get it. I knew it before I even looked. I asked the universe, I said, what are you trying to tell me here? It gives me the answers without the cards. I don't need them. I knew it. I, I was drawn right to this nine of wands that's underneath here. It kills this person. Kills them. It, they have caused all this pain that they're feeling here is in, is in large part because they never did anything here. They hid. They hid behind a wall. They spied. They did whatever. Um, it, they're, it's getting worse. And that's probably why they're coming in. Mm -hmm. on, a, on a very high level. Um, they got in their head too much and caused their own pain here. They caused all the pain because they're too much in their head. Too much swords, not enough cups. What's up? What's going on here? What's on top? The lovers. Yeah. What did I just say? They, they thought about it too much. The, the more they held back, the more they thought about it, the, the more the energy grows. And I've told you that before. I said part of this person's devil energy is pentacles. They love the, they run from things and love the pentacles. They thought they could just blow this off the way they blew off anything, right? Every, all the other stuff in their life. It's not just you they blow off. They blow off anything that resembles cups, anything that resembles where they have to share emotion or anything like that. And but the problem is they blew off the wrong thing, right? This time they they blew off the wrong thing because if you once you do that. Once you get in your head and you hide behind a wall and you run from these soulmate cycles, this is a powerful connection. It just grew. And it grew and it grew. And I want to show you these cards here. The next card out is this. And we're pulling on this. There's an angel up here. All right. They realized it. You can't. There was no escape. I mean, it, there's a little bit of destiny in play here. I don't have a card to back that up, but it's here. This person really, 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 it was time for them to change. They were sitting in a lot of toxin and they kept it in the dark for a long time. Why is the lovers here? Psh. Ace of Pentacles. Mm. That's all they thought about. They caused all their own pain. I just said it. Rewind. They caused all their own pain because all they ever thought about was pentacles and security and status and that's all that matters and this and that. Anything that, that was related to cups with this person, anything where they had to be vulnerable and open up and tell someone how they felt, they, they blew it off, but they blew off the wrong thing here. This is a deep soul connection, twin flame, whatever you want. This is powerful. This is governed by God's source, the universe, all of that. So you don't turn down a gift from God or source or the universe. You don't do that. She's a fickle old gal, that universe, and I call her that for a reason. She will fuck you up if you throw her gift away. And you'll get some karma back, and I think they did. Oh, I think they did. I think they've... They've had a, 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 a reawakening here. They've, they've seen the light. Hallelujah. It's right here. Hallelujah is what these cards equal. Absolutely. Um, the more, again, right here, it's this, um, ace, this here is red with the Eight of Wands. So looking at the other energy that's here, the lovers and the Eight of Wands is communication. It's forward movement. Somebody can't, you know, that's why the Three of Swords is one of the cards, the biggest card, I think, that brings in people in these separation phases. It really does. Because they, re they realize that there's a lot of, once they see the light, ah, right? <laughs> Hallelujah and all that. Once they see the light of what they've done here and what they've passed up, there's no going back. You know, it's like I say about the Empress. You can't, you can't see the Empress and not want to bang the Empress. You know, it's a very irresistible energy. You guys are reflecting in pure Empress energy. Whether you feel it or not, that's how this that's how that's their perception of you. You're irreplaceable. I see it here with that King of Pentacles. Um the Ace of Pentacles here, they've been they've been ignoring their intuition. 
Their intuition told them the whole time to come towards you. That's all it's saying here. But again, the more they, they blew this off in favor of Pentacles, the, the more power the Three of Swords had. Three of Swords has so much power, it's crossing in their emotions. It's the affecting energy of their entire, of why they took stock. Uh, why they why they suddenly are getting stable? Why they shone a light and actually looked at this stuff? All of it is about, is because of the Three of Swords energy, and what that means to you, it's going to vary for all of you. You know what they did. You know what happened here. All right, and they may have. It's not just about you. They a lot of them are sitting in toxic situations. They blew you off for something that is almost insulting if you think about it. You blew me off for them, for that, for her, for him. What? You know, it is. And it's and that, that part of it is designed to teach you something. Right? You learned your self worth from this, hopefully. That's that was the divine feminine's lesson in all this. We learned that in our very first twin flame journey we pulled. They had to learn to be vulnerable as the primary lesson, and you had to learn self worth and not to give where love where you're not getting love back. Love requires reciprocation. Otherwise it's just despair. You're just throwing love out the window. It's, it's not right. And then you, when you don't get it back, it's lonely, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. But they always, they, they took your love, but they didn't give it back. But they took it, and they learned from it. Your love, all of that, it wasn't in vain. All of that love you gave that you didn't get back is why they were able to shine a light on the devil. It's why there's angel energy here. The connection itself is represented in angel energy. I know that because of this card. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? What's the final final on this? And yeah, I've been shuffling. Okay, I have. All right, my God. I sometimes think after, I, if I'm ever done with this YouTube channel, I'm going to move back down south and open a, open a church or some kind of a place. I'm just going to preach on Sunday. <laughs> I think that'd be fun. Just ad-lib the whole thing. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I would do that. I'd have a band play. We'd have singers. It'd be great. Get a Leonard Skinner tribute in there, right? Do a little tribute band. <laughs> give me three steps. Give me three steps. Right, here we go. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, Sweet Home Alabama. Go ahead. Play all the hits, boys. All right, here we go. Wheel of Fortune. I'd have a packed church. You know I would. All right. All right, here we go. Crossing that is the Ace of Wands. The very card we started with in our pre-shuffle. Basically, the final outcome is exactly what I told you in the pre-shuffle. What's been separating the black cat from the white cat on the justice card is no longer there. And we, this reading has proved that. Because the devil energy was what was separating them. Their need to run away. Their need to be fakey McFakerman. I don't have... I got fakey McFakerman. I got the Queen of Wands. And I got the Seven of Swords. But I got them early in the reading. I got them in the cut section, which is why we're here. And this explains why that's not valid. Because the pre-shuffle already pre-explained it. So basically the way the reading should work is the pre-shuffle tells us something. These cards, the, the cut cards, tell us why we're here. And then the rest of the reading should back up the pre-shuffle. Okay? So, the, so that we understand the why the fuck are we here cards. All right? And this card crosses the Seven of Swords in the first card before the cut. So this tells me, this is someone who, this is truth. I've got the King of Truth crossing the seven of swords. So I knew where this reading was going. Saying you, you could have too. You don't even need to read energy. But I already knew because it was in the energy. I just didn't think the cards would be this literal. And that's, that's what blows my mind. How literal it is. Especially with two temperances in the soul. I mean that's unreal. What's on top here? So yeah. We have a new beginning coming from somebody who didn't want it before. I could phrase it like that. What's on top? Six of swords. They want to fix this. This is why the Wheel of Fortune. This is why the wheel is turning. Six of Swords. Somebody wants to fix this. Moving on to calmer waters. It's right here. It's red with the Seven of Pentacles. They've, they've realized that they fucked up here. Oh, it was their shit. It was them, not you. And for some of you, this person may have blamed you for everything that happened. For some of you. Oh, they now know it wasn't you. It was them. They took stock. Now they And they looked at what they did. It caused a lot of pain to look at it. Because it always is painful to look at toxic energy, the devil energy. It's painful. It doesn't just go away. You've got to acknowledge it, look at it, deal with it, think about it. You can't just blow it off like they've been doing. And that's what they've been doing. This is proof that they've looked at it. This is proof here too. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Knight of Cups. Look at that. Come on, you guys. 
Listen, this this is a very divinely guided reading. You know I love pulling on Jupiter because I told you. Jupiter's energy is like candy. It's wonderful. But man, it's sitting in a fire sign right now. And I tried to explain to you with science, not hocus pocus, science, why Jupiter loves fire. And it does. This is their, They've got the bravery to do this. I don't know how else to phrase it to you. They feel like they can do it. They feel like they know they've looked at the devil. They've gotten past it. They feel like they can do this. They know what happened here. They know it's their fault. And in the soul, they want to take a leap of faith. It's all driven by pain. Three of swords in two places. And we've explained why. The energy of the connection is because somebody, this nine of wands behavior, hiding behind a wall is going to stop. Because somebody, it's going to result in communication because somebody is listening to their intuition now. All right, they're finally listening, and that's where cups live. That's that's where that's the soul. It's made of love. It's made out of it. Right? There's no fear in there. There's no devil in there. It's made out of it. All right, there you go. That being said, um, let's pull some universe cards. Let's see if there's anything else the universe wants to tell you. I mean, and then I'm gonna go pull some wicked voodoo. All right, we're gonna find out. We're, this is great. But I want to know. I want to. I want to go all Dr. Phil on them. I want to know what they saw. What? What? What is this devil? I have a devil on the table in a key position. I don't need to pull on the angel energy. I will just because you know. You know me. But I'm gonna pull on that. I want to see what they found out. What they figured out. Why all of a sudden they're coming in? We're gonna find out more about this person. All right. They're coming in. Knight of Cups for most of you. Why? When it's what's interesting here, the Knight of Cups is red with the devil. It's red with that. They got past it. It's the Knight of Cups is why the Six of Swords is here. How are they going to smooth things out? They're going to come in and talk to you, open up with some emotions. Why? Because of the devil here. And the devil we know is what they looked at and got past. All right. So we need to see what the, there's a hole here. We need to fill. There's a void right there. What what does that mean? Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. Give me three cards and a bottom card or crossing card, universe. What else you want to tell these people before I go and pull some wicked voodoo? I love pulling. You know I love pulling on the devil. You know I do. Oh, it's going to be good. All right. Look at that. Look at this. The Seven of Swords, the card of why the fuck are we here? The Five of Pentacles and the Moon. And check this out. Ten swords crossing the five pentacles. This is what the universe wants to tell you before I go pull some wicked voodoo on the devil. Ten swords and five. Somebody wants to come in from out of the cold. And they are coming up coming up from the depths. This, this proves they looked at the devil energy. It, it validates the whole reading. They looked at it. it the, the moon illuminates things. This is secrets coming to the surface. It's things coming up from the depths. And what things? Seven swords. All their this is mild devil energy right here. All their deceptions, all their reasons for running, all the toxin that's around them. They looked at it. And now they want to put an end to being out in the cold. They want to put an end to the life by the pentacle, five of pentacles, which is leaving them out in the cold. It always does. I mean, I'm sure some people watching me right now are uber rich. I bet you got millions of dollars in the bank. But those millions of dollars are great. And it's terrific that you drive the Maserati and whatever, or you feel like you've got some security. But driving around town in that Maserati alone, and pretending you're talking on the phone to somebody, which half of them do, they're always, it's always a fake phone call. You know, it's lonely. This person is lonely on crack, and they realized that because stuff came up from the depths, it's their own damn fault. And so we are definitely pulling on what they looked at here in this Seven of Pentacles. What's, we're going to shine a light on that devil too. So you know who's coming towards you. And I'll get you some more information on their approach as well, of course. All right? I may even pull on your connection and find out a little bit about it. Because I got two angels here and, and my Leap of Faith card and a Wheel of Fortune. I, wanna, I might pull on that. In fact, I probably will. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I hope I, I, I don't think I found the words, but I hope I made it clear how powerful Jupiter and Aries is. Between now and Halloween, it's going to be some serious shit happening. Okay? I hope I made it clear. I uh, hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. If you want the extended, the link is in the description. All right. Good luck.